Hey, what's up guys and gals? Josh Thomas here from TheBitBlock.com to bring you on a basic overview for Bomb Monkey on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. Alright, so um, let's get started by talking about kind of the basic overall gameplay here in Bomb Monkey. Of course it's a puzzle game, and it's kind of a um, simple, almost traditional puzzle game in a way. The core concept is that you have a cute little monkey on the touchscreen who's going to be dropping down puzzle pieces and bombs, and it's your job to guide those puzzle pieces. Of course, they are color-coded, so um, they're little, like, totem blocks. So you want to take all the blue totem blocks and stack those together, the yellow, the red, you get the idea. And, uh, of course, whenever you have a bomb drop down, you want to guide the bomb to the different colored blocks. So if you have, like, five blue totem blocks all stacked together, it would uh, destroy all five of those and start, like, a chain reaction. So it's very simple. Anybody can pick this up and, and understand it. But at the same time, um, I really think that simplicity usually means that something is more fun and definitely more addictive. So the basic gameplay here, I would say, is incredibly addictive. Uh, now one of the cool things about Bomb Monkey is that, uh, and it's actually, it's pretty quirky, you don't play the game in a traditional fashion. You actually take your Nintendo 3DS and whoop, turn it on its side and you play this game uh, with the 3DS on its side. Uh, the, it, the 3DS does not make that noise, you will have to do that manually when you turn it, unfortunately. That's really the only flaw that I can find in Bomb Monkey. Um, there's three different ways to control here. You can use the D-pad to move the little monkey around and guide the blocks. You can use the circle pad. Or, uh, my personal favorite, and you know, like my preferred way to play, is to just use the touch screen. Literally, wherever you tap, the monkey would then drop the blocks in that, uh, in that column. So, you know, like I said, it's a very basic game, but I think the touchscreen controls kind of make it stand out and, and make it a little bit more fun to play. Now, uh, there is a little bit more to the gameplay here in Bomb Monkey. For example, you know, you're not just going to be seeing different colored totems falling. You'll also see crates that have arrow directions on them. So the arrows will either be going horizontally or they'll be going vertically. Um, and whenever you drop a bomb on one of those crates, it will then just completely blast away all of the different pieces that are in that column. Uh, so, you know, like I said, it's either horizontal or vertical, so you really want to take advantage of that. And then, you know, as you can imagine, you can actually start a chain reaction with all those crates if you have several of them on the playfield at once. So, that's pretty satisfying to see when there's just a bunch of stuff exploding and the monkey's really happy on the other screen. Anytime monkeys are happy in a game, I think automatically the player is also happy. I don't know, that's science at work there. But uh, another thing that would be kind of interesting about the gameplay here is that there are locks on some of the totem blocks. So you have to blow up the lock and then you can blow up the block itself. So some little things added into the gameplay which make it uh, pretty addictive and fun to play and not overly simplistic. Uh, now I think one of my favorite things here in Bomb Monkey is the two-player mode. You can play two-player co-op or two-player versus and it's really interesting because I think it kind of solves a, uh, an issue that I personally have with handheld gaming, and that is that usually if you want to play multiplayer, you're going to need like two copies of the game, or at very least, you're going to need more than one system. However, here in Bomb Monkey, you can play with two people only using one copy of the game and one Nintendo 3DS. So it's really simple. Um, one player is on one side of the system holding it, and then the other player is on the other side. So one player would use the, the D-pad or the circle pad, and then the other player on the other side would use the buttons, the A, B, X, and Y, to guide the puzzle pieces. Uh, and then, you know, it's two screens on the 3DS, so each one of you has a screen to, uh, to check out. And so that's just really cool. I mean, it's like, it's multiplayer with one system and one copy of the game. To me, that's really fun. And there's just something really fun about each player holding one side of the system, and you're like sort of head-to-head -head and, and really trying to mess with the other player. Alright, so that is a kind of a quick overview of what you can expect from Bomb Monkey. Like I said, it's out right now here in North America. Uh, it's developed by Renegade Kid. They've worked on so many awesome games. Uh, previously, they just uh, made Mutant Muds for the eShop, which was really, really awesome. Uh, the game retails for only $4.99, so uh, yeah, do yourself a favor and go ahead and check it out yourself.